In this video, we are going to figure out which stairway design is going to take up the least amount of floor space or square footage living area in your building. And uh, I can we can just stop the video right here. This is the winner. This is the one that's going to um, take up the le least amount of space. 32 and a half square feet, straight set of stairs. We're going with a three foot minimum. These uh, dimensions and the square footage could vary from your area. You know, you live in uh, Canada and you have a stairway like this and your, your building codes are different, then these uh, square footage dimensions are also going to be different. So we're using the three foot minimum, 36 inches from the uh, International Building Code reference book and a 10 inch deep um, stair tread. So 10 inch depth, 36 inch minimum, 13 steps. And we're gonna try and use 13 steps throughout the entire video. So straight set of stairs, 13 steps. Can't beat this one. 48 square feet. If you remember the, the other one was about 32 square feet. And then three foot. Um, five foot, so we have six steps going up, six steps going up to a landing. But if you think about it, here we have a step that is a landing. And instead of being 10 inches by 36 inches, it is six feet by three feet. So this is where we're losing the square footage on this particular design. Up six steps, landing, up six more steps to the next floor. Now we can reduce the landing um, size by changing the stairway from a U-shaped stairway to an L-shaped stairway here. Come up to a landing three foot by three foot. Three foot is usually going to be the minimum for um, width uh, and depth kind of a thing on a stair landing with this type of design also. 39 square feet up six steps to a landing, up six more steps to the floor. Now we can reduce that particular L-shaped design by adding another step in the landing and removing it from either the top or the bottom. 36.5 square feet, we have just eliminated one step off of the top. Five steps, six steps, and of course the step in the landing. Six steps, seven step, eighth step, and then up five more steps. And if we add another step, we have reduced the square footage down to 34 square feet, five treads or five steps up to, to a three step or sectional winder landing and then up five more. Now I do have more building code information at the website. And I do have books on how to build stairs like this. And the first thing I need to point out for this particular design is that the popular building code book that or the reference book that I use, and this doesn't mean that they're going to be use it, using it in your area, but some stair um, building departments or the building departments for your stair design are not going to allow these winders to come to a point. They're actually going to have to have a six inch minimum area. So they're just not gonna be able to come to a corner. And that's going to allow you, these stairs right here are unsafe. I had a set of stairs like this in a um, house that uh, I owned at one time and everybody fell down the stairway. I, I just, I fell down it twice. You know, the steps are just too small. Sometimes we gotta pay attention to the building codes and the reasons why they are made that way. And here's an example of what I'm talking about. Five steps up, we have a six inch minimum here, a six inch minimum here, six inch minimum here. This provides us with a little wider area, um, a little more depth so that we can um, step onto the step safely. And I hope that makes sense. So. Sometimes when we're looking at what is going to be the um, least amount of space that a stairway is going to take up, 
or occupy, we've also got to take into consideration the safety aspect of those stairs. And when it comes to a circular set of stairs like this, we also need to consider the area, the actual area of the stairway, 42.24 square feet, and the actual area of unusable space that that stairway might produce as a result of that particular design. 72 and a quarter square feet for a stairway like this might uh, be taking a big chunk out of your small house. This might not be a problem on a larger house. Smaller house, you might have to uh, get rid of this design and uh, go to something else. Now, I'm not suggesting that you can't use this area. This area could be in another room. You know, upstairs and downstairs, you could just have a room with rounded walls and you'd be using the area. Um, you could also, you know, put some tables or something in this area. But if you think about it, this area right here on the inside, it's not going to be used a lot. It's not like a hallway you're going to be walking down. You're not going to be, you know, maybe if you jog around your house, you're going to come into this area and then shoot out. I, I don't know. You know, can it be usable? Okay, if it is, that's not a problem. But if it isn't, and th this right here, once it gets into this number, that's definitely something to think about for a circular stairway. Now, when it comes to the most unsafe stairway in this category, a spiral stairway, you're looking at 32.11 square feet. We're not that far off from a straight set of stairs that's going to provide us with a nice step, nice comfortable step to use while we're walking up and down the stairway. Now, if you're, if you're designing an area and all you have is a square space like this, you've got to minimize everything, um, then you also need to take into consideration whether or not you can actually use a spiral set of stairs. Most, uh, or the building code reference books that I refer to, allow spiral stairs to be used if they're going up to a small room, uh, maybe with square footage of less than 250 square feet. Otherwise, you can't use these things. And the reasons for that are simple, because the more you're going to be using this stairway, the greater the chances of you actually slipping and falling. I think I measured from the middle of the step, I think I had about seven and a half inches. Well, if the minimum depth uh, for a safe set of stairs is going to be 10 inches, or you're a larger person with a 12 inch shoe, um, you know, you're going to have to be really careful walking up and down a stairway like this one. So when everything is all said and done, it looks like we have a winner. It's going to be this one here in most cases. Now I do understand you are going to have building designs where a straight set of stairs will not work. I'm not about to suggest that you modify the building and uh, you know, say, I got to get a straight set of stairs and I watch this video and it's uh, it's just got to happen this way. No, it doesn't. But now at least you have an idea of what exactly is the smallest stairway design you can use in a house that is going to be effective and safe. Now, before we end, I do need to point out that you can always install closets underneath most of these stairways allowing you to increase the storage space and usable square footage of a home.